Okay, we're going to explore the HubNet feature of NetLogo. Now, in the first step, is to go to the user manual, which I have, and you'll find this convenient also, added as a bookmark in the uh, bookmark bar of my Safari browser. I choose the NetLogo 5.0 user manual. 5.0 is the newest version, only two weeks old at this time. Here we are in early March 2012. And um, down here in the menu on the left, we have uh, under features HubNet and HubNet authoring. So let's click on HubNet. And we find here the so-called HubNet guide, which is uh, very extensive and adequate tutorial on getting started using HubNet to run an existing HubNet activity. So in that logo, a program is called a model uh, because it's meant to model a complex dynamical system. And when you run the model, of course, that is a simulation. So in HubNet guide, use the phrase participatory simulations. And this is well worth uh, reading about for a start. So let's click on Pacific Participatory Simulations Project website. And uh, here we have uh, four menu choices. And I'm going to recommend first you go to Participatory Simulations Guide for Computers. And uh, this is a paper written uh, about a decade ago by Yuri Walensky and Walter Stroop. And uh, this is a, a very extensive and interesting and a supportive article in favor of participatory simulation as a uh, teaching modality uh, for a classroom equipped with a data projector and all students having uh, computers in front of them. That's uh, the idea. That through the client <coughs> computers, students will be able to interact with an ongoing model simulation. OK, so I recommend you read that. And then, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, going back to this uh, menu for participatory simulations. A project. We have also the previous project, and this also a very extensive documentation on uh, a project from 2004. And then uh, the so called current project is another one. We get ideas for the use and the expectations for participatory simulation in uh, university classrooms. And uh, this has also been uh, tested extensively in high school classrooms in Austin, Texas, as part of this project of Walensky and Straub. OK, so back to the HubNet guide. There's a um, description of some simulation um, models or activities, HubNet activities, so-called, which are in the model library that comes with the NetLogo system. We'll look at in a moment. And then a, a very nice little uh, explanation how to start up one of, one of these HubNet activities in, in, in the classroom. And uh, we're going to try uh, to do that next by exploring the model library, the HubNet section of the model library that comes with the NetLogo system.